This evening's sermon comes to us from Mark chapter five, uh, 15 and verses 6 through 15. As we continue on in the book of Mark, and specifically we address now the events preceding the crucifixion. These obviously are uh, awesome in that uh, old uh, sense of the word, perhaps even the old word awful would be uh, even uh, better in describing it. Awful events we are reading about as Jesus, the second person of the Trinity, the Son of the Father, the true Son of the Father, was sent to the cross to die for us. And we are looking at the uh, judicial malfeasance that was going on, the kangaroo court, and the way that uh, his own people received him not, and instead sent him to die at the hands of Roman executioners. Well, before we uh, turn our attention to these uh, weighty subjects, let's go before the Lord who gave us this word, this true account of Christ's uh, atoning death. Let us ask him for his help. Well, Sovereign Lord, I confess to you that none of us can preach your word unless we have your spirit, Lord, abiding within us. And I pray, Lord, that you would help us, therefore, this day. I pray you would help me to unfold this, this word aright, to divide it correctly so that your people might understand. And I pray, Lord, that you would give them ears to hear. Lord, I pray that the word would not merely pass in one ear and out the other, but that, Lord, we would take it in. We would think on these things, meditate deeply on them, for these are the words of life, and that, Lord, they would sink down into our hearts.